I did it again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to remember that next time. I forgot to print these correctly. So if you're watching this video for the first time, or if this is the first video in the series that you're watching, um, I put 7-2 for all these when I printed them. And I'm, I'm not gonna print them again. All right, I'm just gonna write a three there. Okay, hey, so welcome to the video where I'm going to do problems two, three, four, and five from the guided practice problems. These will be just like the homework. In this case, I don't have to do any calculation. All I have to do is rewrite it in logarithmic form. And if you remember, here's, here's, here's how it wor worked, okay? So if I have b to the power of x equals some number. So for example, five to the third power equals 125. Then to change that into log form, I write log with a subscript of the base. Whatever the base of that exponent is the base of my logarithm. And what this um, exponent equals, what the power equals, is gonna be the input of my logarithm. And as you remember, the logarithm is, which equals means is, the logarithm is the exponent. So that's all I gotta do. I gotta take each of these are in exponential form. I just gotta rewrite it like that. That's all. So for the first one, I got 2.4 to the zero power equals one. My base of my exponent is 2.4. So I'm gonna write log subscript 2.4. The result of doing the exponential function, the output, so to speak, is the input for the log function. So I'm gonna put parentheses one, just like that. And yes, I know, I talked about this in the previous video, try to remember to use your parentheses, all right? It's hard because Dr. Berger doesn't do it and other mathematicians don't do it. <sighs> so, but it's, it's going to, remember, math is about communication and it's going to make much more sense if we all communicate things the same way. Okay, end of, end of rant. The logarithm is the exponent, so this logarithm is the exponent right there so this equals zero and that's all there is to it number three the base is four so i say log subscript four of eight because the output here eight becomes the input and the logarithm is the exponent so this equals 1.5 number four my base is 10 so this is log base 10 my output for the exponential function, 0 0.01, is what I'm going to put in my log function, those switch, the x and the y switch. And this equals the exponent, which is negative 2. Now, there's one other way I can do this, too. Remember that this is the common logarithm, the one that shows up on our calculator right there. So you can also write it this way, log 0.01 equals negative 2. I'm perfectly okay if you do that because it's correct and that's the way everyone does it. However, I'm actually okay better, I'm better okay? I'm actually more okay if you write the base, do it this way, because you've heard me say this throughout the whole year, you can always show the things that are hidden. I'm always okay with you showing the hidden stuff. Okay, so either way, either way is good for me. Just remember that if you don't see it, that the base is 10. It's one of those things that are hidden. Number five, my base of my exponent is three. My output for the exponential is 243. And of course the logarithm equals the exponent, which in this case is the unknown x. Now that's where we're done, we're done. This is over with, that's all you have to do. I'm just gonna go a little bit further with that last one. If you had this as a problem, then you'd actually do this part in your head where you'd say, okay, what's log base three of 243? What does that equal? So you would think, okay, three to what power equals 204, I'm sorry, yeah, 243. And even if you don't have that right away, you can start doing this. Three times three equals nine. Okay, that's two of them. Times three equals 27, that's three cubed. Times three equals 81, that's three to the fourth power times three equals 243. So if we were to do this like mental math or cheating with a calculator, 
I would get x equals 5 because 3 to the fifth power equals 243. So I threw in a little extra there to get you ready for the next stuff coming up. See you in the next video.